on, let's not talk about migrants, we're talking about refugees. People from Syria, most of them, well, we know they're refugees by the basic definition of what refugees are. Peter. We need to get them over. Peter, have we done enough? Well, they're not refugees by the basic definition of what refugees are because they long ago reached a safe country in the shape of Turkey. Uh, what they became when they left Turkey and, tr and tried quite reasonably, I don't, uh, I, I don't in any way denigrate their ambitions to, to move to a, to a more prosperous part of the world, but what they became when they left Turkey was migrants and they seek to come here. Now there are legal ways of coming to this country and it involves applying for entry in, under legal forms and you can do that or you can, go and, you can go and set up an illegal camp in France and put moral pressure on states to let you in, what if you're and let, let you in, and let you jump what? the queue. What this is unfair you... on the people who, who have gone through the process properly. What about well, the issue of Prince Charles and the Duchy of Cornwall is a technical one, hugely exaggerated by by Republican newspapers, which hate the monarchy anyway and uh, seek out ammunition against it. But thank heaven, we're not a democracy in this country. I thank heaven there are restraints. Sorry, can you repeat you that again? <laughs> I said thank heaven we're not a democracy in this country. The, the politicians in this country, they, they, they sit at the heads of, of parties, which if they tried to hold a flag day, no one would give a penny to. They rely entirely on dodgy billionaires and state support to keep themselves going. They represent almost nobody. They are themselves immensely incompetent and inexperienced. They've brought us nothing but disaster, mass immigration, uncontrolled crime, the worst education if only system. only the world was run by the male worst colonists. The worst I, look, Ed, I could if do a better, jo a better job than the world. you any day of the week. I could carve a better <laughs> chance to check your elephant now. But it, why should, we, why, should we, why should we be so glad to, to be run by these people who have no experience of anything and don't know anything and make a mess of everything they do? What, the crisis that we're in at the moment is caused by democratically elected politicians, allegedly. Why shouldn't you, why shouldn't you be glad that somewhere in our system there are restraints on them? I'm okay. personally delighted. I, I think it should, should be more. Should. I've known you for many years. I read your column avidly. I think you need a hug. <laughs> <laughs> I think... <laughs> Come here. Come here. Uh, we've had some biblical quotations here before there is a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. This is one of those refraining moments. Uh, speaking as an outsider and as a non-psychologist, uh, I, I just would, would like to say that it seems to me that it's perfectly obvious that you hug people sometimes and you don't hug them at others. The idea of indiscriminate hugging is, I think, uh, horrifying to me and would be, I think, resented enormously by, by, by many of the female members of the audience here uh, if people felt free to come up and hug them without... And there any, are cultural sensitivities I'd like too. To be, I, I, I went to a school where we didn't even know each other's Christian names <laughs> and, and I, I, don't, I, I, I still either benefit or suffer from that depending on what you think. But it seems to me that you need to know people rather better than we're required to do now before you get intimate with them. So I'm Would you kiss a male no friend? Hug for you. Would you kiss a male friend? No. <laughs> Although I have learned to love you, Peter, and in a minute I'm going to give you such a kiss on the lips I'm going to challenge a few other of your prejudices. Oh, my dear child. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get into the homophobia. It's just under the surface there. Peter, I think you're a how, lovely how, man. How does one deal? I think you're how a Harry one, Enfield how, character. How does one deal with a person who cannot debate seriously? And, it is, and, and, what, and, what, and why, and why, and why, right, and why is, is he? Why is this person brought before select committees and, and allowed to make programmes on the BBC? He simply isn't capable of doing it.